Report Builder – Create Custom Reports As Administrator from Site Administration, Reports, Report Builder section, you can configure and create a variety of custom reports. If you expect your site to use a large number of custom reports, you might want to check custom report settings and improve performance by limiting the number of custom reports and disabling live editing. Let's click on Custom Reports and create a report. We click the New Report button, give our report a name and select a report source. This will determine the columns, conditions and filters available when building the report. We're going to use badges for this example. Including the default setup will give us some predefined columns, filters and conditions or we can uncheck it and start with an empty screen. Pressing Save takes us to the Report Editor where we add the columns we want by pressing the plus. We can move columns by drag and drop and delete them by pressing the X. From Conditions we can define the data visible by default in the report. People viewing the report cannot override these conditions but we can add filters which do similar and which report viewers can make use of. We can also set the default sort criteria and in card view we can define the layout of the report when accessed on smaller devices. We can also define the aggregation in the columns and we can edit the column names to reflect this. Here we select count and here comma separated values. And now the preview button allows us to preview the report and we have the filter available as well. Now, from the Audience tab, we select who will receive this report. And it can be everyone, just site administrators, a particular cohort, manually added individuals, or as we will do here, a particular system role. We are choosing Managers and send this report to anyone with the site-wide manager role. And if you need to remind yourself who these people are and see the actual names of those who will get the report, click the Access tab. So in our example, we have three site-wide managers. From Schedule, we decide when the report will go out. We click the New Schedule button and complete the various options. For instance, what format do we want the report sent out in? When do we want it first sent out and how often? We select the audience and add information in a message to go with the report. From advanced, it's useful to consider what to do with this message if there's nothing in the report. Finally, we press save and let Moodle do the rest of the work. To summarize, the report builder allows you to create, share and schedule a variety of custom reports.